Hello everyone, hello YouTube, hello Facebook, and welcome to another review with me, John. Today I'm going to be doing another ramen review, and I'm hoping this one doesn't kill me like the last one did. That prohibited over 18 ramen was no lie and was no joke. I had severe stomach pains for two hours, which I imagine what it feels like if you have an ulcer. Um, I've never had an ulcer before, and hopefully that's not what gave me one. But uh, anyway, this ramen should uh, not be as spicy. Nowhere on the package does it say it's spicy. But this is the Penang White Curry Noodle from My Kowali. And what I'm excited about most in this is that this particular ramen shows up as number seven on the top ten ramens of all time in the most current edition 2017 on the ramenrader.com and even on the back of the packaging it even has a little emblem from the ramen raider so they were the company was so uh, enamored by his putting them on the top ten they actually used his emblem on the packaging itself. So that's pretty pretty cool, I would say. Maybe someday there'll be a, a, a fat hipster stamp on some food product. But anyway, this is a white curry flavor. Um, how you cook this one is 380 milliliters of water, which seems a little bit on the low side. Um, 380 milliliters of water, cook the noodles for three minutes. In a separate bowl, you put the chili paste, the soup sachet, and a creamer. So it has three packets. It has this chili paste packet. You can see there's still specks of the chili paste in there. I try to get as much out as I can. As you can see, it's, it's like a paste consistency. It's sort of wet, but not completely liquid. It's like a, a powder mixed with a little bit of oil, I think. Then you have the soup sachet, which was, it looked like a lot of just white salt crystals, but with probably some different flavorings in there. And the last one was interesting is non-dairy creamer. That's right, this pack has just had creamer in it. And I tasted it, and it just tasted like the stuff you'd shake into your coffee. Um, I tasted everything along the way as I was cooking it. Nothing uh, was overly spicy, so I'm not thinking this is going to be overly spicy. Um, there'll, be, there'll be some spice to it. I think the ingredients do list uh, chili as one of the seasonings, and that's the spiciest thing in here, chili. Um, there's some fish seasoning, uh, onion, garlic, shrimp so yeah hopefully it tastes pretty good I'm not too keen on the smell though that just might be my preference of this type of uh, food maybe I don't like white curry I've never had white curry before so here we go the Maikawali Panang white curry noodle ramen review here we go It has an interesting mouthfeel to it. You can see the creamer did cloud up the soup a lot, so it's not like a clear broth. And it does give it like a thickness to it. Like a little bit of unctuous bite sometimes you get that if you add an egg to a ramen it'll just give the the soup part of it just a little more thickness a little more stickiness to the mouth
Though I will tell you that that smell that I wasn't particularly liking, it doesn't carry over to a flavor that I'm tasting. So that the, the part of me that was kind of like, I don't know if I'm going to like this because of the way it smells, um, completely the taste different than that smell. And uh, the flavor is actually pretty good. There is some spice to it. Um, I'm not sweating. I don't need water or anything like that. Just kind of tasty. I'll give you a few critiques. There's a, a bit of like a a grittiness in the in the soup. I don't know if that's part of the non-dairy creamer, just not breaking down enough, mixing in with the the liquid. It's not terrible. Like I'm not like chewing any grit, but the it's it's just part of like the that mouthfeel that that makes it a little bit thicker. It's just not as smooth as like an egg yolk would be. That being said, I can see why someone would say this is one of their favorite ramens of all time. And even put it on top 10. Especially top 10 of someone who's tasted thousands, probably. I would say in the thousands of different varieties of, of brands and flavors. But another thing I see is like a lot of like oily bits that are sticking to the sides of the bowl here. Which is just another example of stickiness of the broth. It really gives you a, like I said before, a good mouthfeel. The noodles in this one, um, they don't taste like special or different than other ones, but it's a good quality noodle. A nice bite, a nice chew. It's definitely not one of the cheaper ver cheaper uh, noodle types, but uh, pretty good. The flavor sticks to the noodle really well. And uh, the curry part, it's, it doesn't taste like any curry I've had before. Maybe because white curry is a different flavor than some of the other curries I've had. Um, but it does have like a, a spiciness to it. I just have like a nice warm feeling in my mouth. And it does, every time I try it, it makes me want to go for another bite. And if you can see like these noodles up close, I don't know if you can see, but like there's like seasonings and bits of things that are stuck to them. So I would say... In my limited amount of ramens I've had, it probably will break the top ten of mine. Um, but as far as top ten of all time, if you were to taste every ramen ever, I don't know if this would make it. But uh, if you're partial to this type of flavor, I could definitely see it being in the top ten of all time. I'm going to have to give this one because it is good. I'm going to give it a 9.3 out of 10. Which is like a mid-A level. There is like a, a few bits of things inside of here. I'm not sure what type of vegetables they are. Maybe they're part of those chilies that's listed in the ingredients. But uh, I am going to finish this. I am going to slurp up everything. I think that might be an onion piece. Let's go ahead and finish this off.
The Penang white curry noodles. It is delicious. Got a little runny nose going. I think from just taking all that at once. But two thumbs up, definitely. Uh, special thanks to the, the Robin Raider for giving me more information about this product by putting it on your website and encouraging me to go out and try a lot of these. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And as always, enjoy yourselves. And until next time, bye.